Okay, today on Dan of All Trades, we are going to move the projects in the house. We're going to work on our kitchen cabinets. We're going to take these old wood grain cabinets and we're going to paint them and they're going to come out something like this. These were the same exact wood stain or wood cabinets that were on the other side of the kitchen over here. And we completely took them all apart and um, painted them. Uh, we didn't get inside, you know, the cupboard or anything like that. We just painted the outside looks and it turned out really nice. And I'm gonna go through and show you the steps of process of what we did and the materials we use that we found work best. Okay, make sure you take all this hardware and handles all off. Um, you don't have to, but it'll make the finished product look a lot better rather than taping around this hinge or painting over it. You can just paint right over it, stick the hinge back in. It's gonna look like a new door, new cabinet that way. Make sure you take all these off. And then put all this stuff in a bag so you don't lose it. Um, if you got any of these little bumpers on there, take all those off. You're gonna wanna get new ones anyway. Take your handle off, whatever handle you, you have. And if you're gonna get new handles, and they're not gonna be the same type as this where it's a one hole, you're gonna get two holes or something. Then when you put the wood filler in, make sure you fill in this hole. So then you can put new holes for your new style handle. If you're using the same style with a one hole or the same handle, you don't have to worry about it. You can use that old hole. Okay, now we're ready for the next step. We got our drawer out or your cabinet door off, however, or whatever you're starting with, you get it out. You're going to get some liquid deglosser when you get all your accessories, everything off. Get some liquid deglosser and you're gonna put that on a rag and start wiping it all over. Scrubbing it into the wood. I think this helps it so um, your putty, which is your next step, and your paint and primer and all that sticks better to your wood. Okay, now we're on to the step of your wood filler. Um, you're going to, it's uh, actually wood grain, wood filler, so you can get that drawer cabinet all smooth. Here's uh, one that we did already, right here, and uh, we just used the filler and scraped it on with a knife and got it as thin as we could but this time we're going to try to take some of the filler and mix it with some warm water they say that you can make it like into a paint and then paint it on and then that way there's not as much sand in and it's probably a lot easier to apply so get some warm water you don't need much water it looks like and then you just Mixing that up, get it nice, you want a nice thick consistency, I guess. So if you're gonna go this route, you wanna have a couple drawers, a couple cabinets, doors, things lined up so you can just go down the line and start painting them with this. Cause you can't do your sanding step until this completely dries. Okay, so you got your consistency real thick. It's a lot thicker than paint. Um, and it took barely any water and a lot of the putty and you mix it up with a fair amount right here and like I said this is not this is a lot thicker than paint it's like and I think a nice coat even coat like that will be good because then you're just gonna go over and sand once it fully dries you're gonna go and sand and get it smooth and this is just gonna fill in all that wood grain that low wood grain in there to give you a nice smooth primable finish okay when you're putting this stuff on brushing it on when you come across spots like that that's going over your grain right there and those are little air bubbles because that's the that's exactly what 
this filler is doing is filling those in. So you want to brush over it and make sure you fill that in. See how it, how they're gone now? So it doesn't take, it's not going to take much for this stuff to feel that, fill that grain up. Okay, now here's one of our doors. We uh, started sanding already, but all the white you see is the filler that we painted on last night and we let this sit overnight and dry up really good overnight and now we're sanding it all these big flat areas we're using our palm sander to sand that and then when you get down into all your uh, cracks here and crevices you're going to take some sandpaper fold it up or something whatever you have to do to get down into there but this big flat area we can use a palm sander uh, makes it go a lot quicker and then you see how we're getting it all off of the top here and all you got left is what's in the grain here see just the white is left is in the grain and that's exactly what you want it to look like you don't want high areas like this because you know that filler is still above the wood right there and we want it all nice and smooth and flat like this so we start sanding like this area here sanded that down you got the high white big white patches like this that were up here gone and now you're just down to the wood and the only white left is in the grain right there and that's a nice smooth feel to it so when you get the whole door or drawer everything down to that you might think you went too far but that's how you want to do it okay we got the doors sanded down we sanded the filler down and notice that all you have left now is just the filler in the grain and you can see where all it really pops the grain out so you can really tell where all that is um, that's how you know you sanded it good enough and now it's time for the primer we are going to use this shellac base uh, stain primer um, we tried the other primer before on one and it did not some of the grain stuff bled through the primer um, so we found that this shellac stuff really seals it up really good and there's no bleeding that comes through so just uh, skip any other primer and get this stuff because then there's no doubt that if you had any that would bleed through uh, this takes care of it and uh, it's your basic brush brush on primer stuff put it on thick and now that way you're sealing all the wood up and you won't get any of the moisture to come through and bleed through and like i said we used some uh, kills stuff before and for the most part it sealed good but you could see some yellow areas bleeding through in some of the wood grain um, and we tried this on the next door and there was nothing so just don't even bother and get this shellac stuff and then once we get this all primed up then we'll do another uh, quick sand over the primer and you'll be ready for your first coat of your cabinet paint okay now we got our primer coat on there on our couple drawers and the cabinet door and now we're gonna lightly sand them um, this is where if you did a good job sanding after you did the wood grain filler then this stuff goes on really smooth and it levels out really nicely so now we're gonna use a 400 grit sandpaper real light and then we're just going to just gonna go over it real lightly um, just to knock off the heavy stuff so you're not really even gonna sand down to any wood or anything take any of the material off you're just smoothing out any imperfections that might be on there and now we are ready for our cabinet paint uh, we are going to use this stuff, this Bear Premium Cabinet and Trim Enamel. 
Um, and there's lots of different, you can mix it whatever color you want, but uh, this is supposedly, supposedly works really good. Um, and when we go to do this, you don't want to paint this on its side like this. Any surface that you're going to be painting, flip it up like this drawer here. Flip it up on its side like that. So this surface here is what we're going to be painting. That way, the that bare stuff that we're using is really good at self-leveling itself. So it will get the brush strokes out of itself. Um, and if you have it up like this, it gives it a chance to level itself out like this. It's going to want to level down that way. So you could end up with runs, drips this way. So make sure you have your drawers up like this, your uh, doors like this. We're gonna do this top here. And uh, let's try it. Okay, now this stuff is just like, uh, just like regular painting. You're putting it on pretty heavy, kind of. Um, if you did a good job with your sanding and your primer coats, then, uh, you're gonna seal pretty good with just one coat. It says to use with this bare stuff, it says to use one or two coats, uh, two coats for more durability. So that's probably what we'll end up doing. And I don't know if you can see in the video, but it goes on really nice. And you can see the br brush strokes now, but in about 15 minutes or so it'll start to level itself out and they'll almost be non-existent we just finished putting on our first coat of the cabinet enamel um, we brushed that on and we found out that after the first door we did that it looks a lot better if you brush on the first coat and then you roll on the second coat um, they have these little tiny rollers like this it's like a three inch roller or something so we brushed on our first coat and then we're gonna and you can see some brush marks and stuff um the second coat fills it in even when you brush it but um rolling it your lat your second and last coat uh the finish comes out a lot better and a lot smoother you don't really see any of the brush marks and uh, it levels out really nice and so we we brush the first coat so you can get into all these uh beveled edges um all this router this design pattern you can brush to get the paint all into there and then we roll all the flat surfaces for sure okay, so i talked about earlier filling in your holes if you weren't if you're going to change your handle up so this was our old handle on our drawers the single hole um, we're getting rid of that and using this style, which is going to have two holes. Um, so we filled our hole in when we did our filler. And we measured our distance between our holes that we want. And then you're going to place it on your drawer where you want. Right over the center of that old hole. That should be the center, so... Our drills our holes drilled screws through there now we're gonna install it hopefully we got the right measurement here we took this stuff apart hopefully you put it all in a little baggie to keep it separated just take your time make it look good Okay, got the first section of cabinet done, all back together, and there it is. And uh, just take your time, do one section at a time if you have to. You know, don't get overwhelmed and do them all at once. Uh, you can do one, do a couple later or whatever, your own pace. Um, but those are the steps. Um, those are the tricks that we found work best. Um, if you guys liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, see what we're working on next time.